Hello everyone, Karen Glasser here. And I'm Mel Greenberg. And welcome to Uncorked, life exposed in the most unexpected ways, where what you see is not always what you get. Uncorked is brought to you by Vital C, the guide to living in a stage of growth, purpose, and discovery. So whether you're here live or on replay, we're thrilled. Make sure you say hi in the comments and tell us where you're watching from. So Mel, today we're whooping it up with Robin Lynn. You guys, I'm so excited today. Robin is a board certified holistic health practitioner and nutritionist and whose mantra, living in harmony with our body and mama earth, is something she speaks to audiences worldwide and teaches in her practice. And today she's especially happy to be at the Klein Sellers Vineyard in Napa, where Robin comes to us from. And we're just so excited to introduce you to our audience. Robin, welcome. Thank you. I am so excited to be here. We're delighted, absolutely delighted. And we always like to start our show by drinking. I mean, why not, right? And today, what else? We're drinking Klein Sellers wines, and these are fabulous. I'm drinking a Sauvignon Blanc. And I am drinking the Ancient Vines Klein, this one, or the Zinfandel. And what are you drinking, Robin? I am drinking cashmere. Get the camera on here, right? The cashmere black, full of polyphenols. And yeah. I wanted to say something about that because you had a great backstory on the cashmere that I hope you'll share with us. Yeah, about, about donations, the donations mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. Their cashmere line, um, they donate to charities, different charities. And so far, according to the back of the bottle, they have donated over $775,000 just off of the cashmere line. So wow. Pick that up. It's in our kit. You can get that and support and, and give back. So enjoy and give yeah. back. Cheers, everyone. Well, cheers. cheers. All right. I think I'm ready now. Are you ready, guys? I'm ready. Robin? I'm First ready. All, you know, Robin, you're sitting in Klein Cellars right now. So we I am literally you're actually there right now. And we're going to yeah. be bringing out one of the amazing people from Klein in a little bit to talk mm -hmm. about the wines and talk about all of that. So stay tuned for that. Yes. Okay. Um, let's talk a little bit about your background, Robin. I mean, you've been, you're very diverse. You're an actress. You, you take amazing photographs. You're a model. Um, you're a holistic practitioner. Let's tell us about how you went from here to there. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, you know, it's a very, very long story, but I'll try to, to compact it a little bit. I actually started in nutrition back in the 90s, and it kind of developed with um, a couple of friends as well as my mother being diagnosed with cancer. And that just led me down you know, the bunny trail of researching what can I do, what can I find, and everything I kept finding just kept coming back to food. And as I'm doing that, I'm not even like practicing at this point, but I have people coming to me left and right. I have people coming and asking me while I come speak, people asking for programs. And I'm just like, okay, I guess, you know, the universe is trying to tell me something here and I need to go to back to school and figure this out because I went to school for fashion. I don't know about you guys, if you went to school for something other than what you're doing now, but right. um, yeah, I went to school for fashion and um, now I'm doing nutrition. I had a wellness center in North Carolina for a couple of years. And because of a very stressful time period, I decided to move back to Florida, um, pursue some other passions, which is what led me into acting and producing. And this last year, honestly, with so many of my friends um, falling ill to this virus, and um, you know, I had suggestions about you know nutrients, things that they could do just to arm their immune system. And you know, they're all looking at me like, "You're an actor." Why should I listen to you? <laughs> and I'm like, no, you don't understand. So I decided, you know, the the roots of of my entire being, my passion has always been nutrition. And I really needed to, to go back to that and tap into it. So went back to school this last year, um, got recertified, went after my board certification with holistic health practitioner. And here I am. The, the I love right. that you took that extra step to to move beyond just being, you know, an internet talking head who liked a topic and and had done a, a fair amount of research right. into it and practice, yeah. but, but but really, you know, armed yourself with the the credentials and the study, and the ability to really 
authentically teach people and and your passion drives it all. You can see it even okay. when you're telling your story. It just yeah. Drives it, it does. It does. And you know what? It's there. There are so many people out there with great information that you know. That's all they've done is gone out there and dug for d information, and it's amazing. And they are some amazing editorial people and researchers. And I don't want to you know down them in any way, shape, or form. But oh. I want to actually reach out and be able to help a person figure things out in their own life. And um, so, you know, yeah, you've got to go and, and take some classes for that. <laughs> and and I, I remember watching you studying in the middle of the summer and you're busy doing your thing. You just recently moved to Napa, you know, about right. a year ago. Yeah. My, my, my stomping grounds. Yeah. You like to say living in harmony with our body and with Mama Earth. Yeah. How, does that, how does that manifest itself? Oh, my gosh. You know, Mama Earth is, I mean, I've always been passionate about nature, um, you know, I, I feed my soul by just being outside. I could, I, other than uh, spiders and snakes, I could live outside um, and, you know, a good shower here and there. But, you know, it's, it's just something that really feeds you. And every single part of nature does feed us. There's an energy that actually scientifically proven, there's that energy, that pulse that goes through nature and nature feeds our bodies. Our bodies need it. Mm -hmm. um, so it's very much a part of everything that I do. And I think that we have to live in that harmony, give back as well as, you know, receive. Totally, totally understand that. You know, I'm, I'm sure people are wondering why we call this whooping it up, right? I mean, yeah. there, there's actually- We'll a method to our madness, always. <laughs> There's a method to the madness, but the reason why I think we went in that direction is that Robin, you were telling us about this this thing called a whoop that you wear on your on your wrist, um, and it does some really incredible things. And I was like saying, well, I have a Fitbit and as an Apple Watch, has an Apple Watch and you know there's differences and similarities. Let's talk about the whoop. Okay, and interestingly enough, and they they just released their next version, their new version yesterday, just dropped. And I don't know all of the new specifics, but it looks even more amazing. Um, I've got mine reserved. But um, yeah, so the Whoop is, it's another tracker. It's a health tracker, not just a fitness tracker, but a health tracker. And it helps to track your recovery, your rest. Um, as well as your heart rate variable, your uh, resting heart rate, your active heart rate. Um, then some of the new things coming is it's tracking your oxygen levels, your body temperature, uh, wow. just amazing, amazing things. And, you know, heart rate variable, people may be hearing things about that right now mm -hmm. because it's becoming a little bit more trendy as we're learning more about it. That's really looking at our nervous system and how our nervous system is coming into play in our lives. Because, you know, most of us know we have parasympathetic and sympathetic. Mm -hmm. And these two guys, it's like a, this juggling going on in our bodies at all times. And we don't want either one of them to be too dominant. You know, the, the parasympathetic is the one that helps you kind of get into that relaxation mode, kind of like deal with life on a regular basis, as well as help us sleep. The sympathetic is the one that like makes you alert. It's the fight or flight. It, it works with cortisol. It keeps you, you know, sometimes when you lay down at night and your brain just goes into like this, you're in your sympathetic state of mind. Um, so you don't want that. So what the HRV does is when your HRV numbers drop, it's telling you that you're a little bit too much into the sympathetic and your body's having a hard time restoring itself. And that could come from stress. It can come from eating bad food. It can come from fighting an illness. Um, many different things can affect it. And if I can share, I have, I stopped drinking wine a long time ago because it always gave me headaches. And I figured it was the tannins or it's the sulfites, whatever it might be. And I didn't really know. And when I moved to Napa, I decided to try some organic farming because I've been an organic girl since there was an organic. Um, I noticed with the organic farming, not necessarily organic wines, but the organic farming, I was not having any issues. Mm -hmm. And then I started looking at biodynamic and learning more and more and more about biodynamic and its relationship with the earth. 
And in my opinion, biodynamic is, you know, a step above organic because organic can still be mm -hmm. one crop in a field. You know, we call it a right. monocrop. Um, right. You're still doing things. You're not really benefiting too much. You're just not using pesticides. So with biodynamic, I've noticed that when I drink a biodynamic wine, that my HRV, my heart rate variable, increases, which is the good thing. We want that number to get higher. Um, and when I drink a wine that is not, it nosedives. My body is having to fight the stress that that is causing inside of my body. And I love that. That's not scientific, y'all. That is what happens with me personally. Right. Right. So can I ask you a question? Does that keep time? Does it, it serve as a watch? No. No. Does it do the laundry? I don't know if it does the laundry. It seems if to it do, do laundry, I will pay. It does you know, for your wine. Whatever the price is. <laughs> so, so I find that really fascinating that, that the watch can actually, that, not the watch, the, the whoop can actually monitor the levels, which tells you you need to go either have the right kind of wine, which is, yeah. you know, why we're at Klein today. Yeah. Um, I, I think that's fascinating. Now, now my Fitbit, Robin. I don't know if you know this. My Fitbit does do resting. It does. Do, it tells me. It tells me my, all that stuff when I'm sleeping. Yeah. How many hours I? It, but it doesn't do the H HRs, whatever you call HRV. that. Uh -huh. Heart rate variable. And and your your watch, your your uh, device, Mel. What is my your Apple? Um, this is the latest incarnation and I don't I know it has the I do the heart rate I honestly don't know if it does the HRV I can't speak mm -hmm. to that but that's fascinating because I have historically and genetically an extremely low heart rate and low blood pressure mm -hmm. and um, I don't worry about it but I do watch it right and it's fascinating so I know that that's there but I, I'm curious to know if it's capable of that and if not I would be compelled to get that and you could probably just sort of wear it as arm candy you, you know, can, and actually the new versions, um, I'm not trying to do a plug for them. I don't represent Whoop in any way, shape, or form, but the new version actually has it so you can take this out, and then they have clothing that's wearable, so you can wear it like in your, your tank oh top. Oh, that's cool. Do you wear it 24-7? Do what? Do you wear it 24-7? You can. Yes, they are mm -hmm. even waterproof up to one or two meters um, mm -hmm. I wear it in my float therapy, so I can actually wow. see what the rate is doing during float therapy. Um, so is it a purchase or a, a subscription? How do you how do you have it? It's a you subscription. Do have it in the it's actually, you get the Whoop. Um, oh, if I can remember something, I think you get the Whoop for or it's like thirty nine dollars, and then a band is for free. Mm -hmm. And then from there, the subscription is you can either do monthly or you get a discount for paying for a year up front. Oh, okay. and we, we put it in the in court kit. So yes. if you guys want to go check it out, you can check out the whoop, you can check out the Fitbit, you can check out the Apple watch, whatever floats your boat. But I have to say that, you know, as we talk about this whoop, I think it's something that I know I'm going to go check out now. Me too. Yeah. 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 You know, it, all, all of them are good. All of them are good. It's great to yeah. have an idea of what your body is doing right. and watching what your heart resting heart rate is. Because mm -hmm. if your resting heart rate elevates suddenly, that's another sign that your body yeah. is stressed yeah. out. Yeah. And you need to kind of look back to the day, you know, the 24 hours before that and say, okay, what happened yesterday? Right. And again, it could be a food. It could be an argument. It could be just stress that you're yeah. carrying carrying yeah. with you the night topic the dog anything the dog oh yes well, yeah. i really wanted to speak to the um the biodynamic because there are there are many companies out there and and it's good we're making changes and and they're really starting to recognize the need for for healthier wines and there are a lot out there that that you know they're health wines and, and i've tried them and i noticed such a distinct difference in this and and but part of it to be completely fair is that like like coffee i like the experience the scent the you know the aroma that permeates the oh, process yeah. of making it and i feel that way about wine so just getting a wine that's healthy it's like it might be it might be but it's just kind of eh on the average the taste scale and we uh -huh. have um i shared um with karen earlier for rosh hashanah i opened the ancient vines your zinfandel um from klein and 
our family overwhelmingly just obsessed now, but there was a really unique taste and experience with it. And it was, it was just not as overwhelming and the, it was just really clear. I can't, and I'm really at a loss for words and I'm not a sommelier, but <laughs> it, it was crisp. It was vibrant. And, and yet I got the depth that I like in Zins. And right. so I'm going to attribute that to highly how drinkable. It was highly drinkable. Highly drinkable. Yeah. I like that term. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. Wines. No, since getting into nutrition, back into nutrition and I'm moving to Napa all at the same time and discovering my biodynamic wines, I had to research it, you know, and like what is happening here. And I can't talk to, you know, can't really talk to you about how they do everything. We've got Amber that will be jumping on in a minute that could talk to you a little bit about that. But from a nutrition standpoint, mm -hmm. the polyphenols in biodynamic wine, farmed wine, or, or even organically farmed wine, the polyphenols are stronger. And um, they are probably about five times as strong in one glass of red wine as opposed to a glass of white wine. Sorry, Karen. Um, and polyphenols are amazing. They are they are the the trendy kid on the block right now. Everybody's talking about polyphenols. Um, they're one of the top antioxidants. They come in dark berries and some of your nuts and seeds. Do a Google search. You can find you know all of the polyphenol foods. Um, but it, it's, it they helps actually bring the guts back into this happy place. And it's a it's a good thing. It helps your brain, it helps your memory, it helps your sleep. And one of the fascinating things about it, um, you know, all of my nutrition career, I have always taught, you know, drinking any kind of alcohol can benefit possibly heart disease. There's many studies on it. Um, it is not good for cancer. And doing my research on polyphenols, we have a plane flying over us. Um, doing my research on the polyphenols and in wine, mm -hmm. they're finding that wine is okay for cancer. And um, it, is, it is, and as far as preventing cancer, um, it does not seem to be preventing cancer as long as it's done in moderation. Um, whereas alcohol and beer are three to five times more likely to bring about cancer. So, and that's just one of the studies wow. you can look that study right. up and you can find it. Um, so it's polyphenols are just amazing. And so, you know, if you're gonna drink it, you may as well make it like a vitamin and enjoy exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. Right. I find the white wines and I'm, mm -hmm. a, I'm a, the darker, the better now. And that's how you find your polyphenols, by the way, is the darker the wine, the better it is and also polyphenols enhance the smell the, the sense of the wine i love it oh absolutely my God. and the ancient vines really fast smell the ancient vines that have been around for like 100, 100 years or so they're reaching so far down into the earth mm -hmm. that it's actually it's actually pulling up a lot of the minerals so that minerality is part of what you're getting uh, and lovely. to feed you and how so, it's grown is so even how many benefits what you're saying really is is that we should all go drink wine it's and moderation. Good. And moderation. And, moderation. and I think that leads us into the next thing because it's always a good time, right? I mean, it's five o'clock somewhere, as they say. Oh, um, or if you're in Napa, it's five o'clock all day long because people go tasting all day long, right? Absolutely. So, Robin, I, if, if you don't mind, you want to bring Amber in? Yes. And have her join us? Absolutely. Here's Amber. Hello. So, who is Amber? So what is Amber? What do you do, Amber? I am for the reservations team here at Klein, fill in, host some tables because what's better than talking about wine all day? Um, now that it's harvest, I'm back there at the crush pad helping out with uh, making the wine. So hopefully none of my bruises are showing from that because that's um, some intense work. But um, part of what drew me to Klein when I first started was actually their sustainable practices. I really appreciate everything that the Klein family is doing to make their wines and really make it sustainable for future generations and really just laying the groundwork for the land to be used for years and years to come because they are using these ancient vines that the grapes and the vines will continue to grow. They don't need a whole lot, but we want to make sure that it is healthy for them, that the soils that they have are healthy and sustainable. So that's when I started here, that's really what drew me to them versus some other spots. 
I, that makes total sense. That makes total sense. You know, when Robin came over and visited you, I guess a couple of weeks ago, she did a photo shoot. And um, I wanted to share these uh, pictures that are here and maybe give us a sense of what we're looking at. This is a sign that says the site was a village. So what is the sign and, and why is it there? We're actually very close to where that sign is too. So the idea is that where Klein is was originally, um, first it was a Miwok uh, native area. It's where they wintered because it was really close to bodies of water, easy trails. Um, and then as the, as the missionaries were coming up, this is obviously very valuable land. So it was um, the original last site of the last mission that's up in Sonoma um, because there was already a military barracks down in downtown Sonoma. They decided that makes more sense for them. Just keep the community all together. Um, let the Miwok right. Indians enjoy their land that is here. Um, but this building that we're actually in too is supposed to be modeled after what the Adobe mission looks like. So it's, you know, oh. Adobe clay over on the side here, really cool, even though it's probably, gosh, what, 20 degrees hotter outside than inside here, totally. just naturally cooling. Um, wow. So that's kind of, this land was consecrated by the, um, by the missionary priest that was here, um, just to say this land is now sacred land, it's good land. And so that's sort of what you're looking at right now. We hold um, an Easter sunrise mass. Uh, we, we were able to do that this year actually, which was really nice, that's right? Nice. Where yeah. that picture is right yeah. there. Yeah, nice. it's really beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was actually watching some of those while um while listening, just yeah. you know outside. <laughs> well, I have a question: Are you because we, and I live in Tucson, as many of you know, and we are inundated with baby butterflies. Like I have never seen, and I've been here thirty thirty one years. It this this season. Are you seeing that up there? Baby, yeah. everything here. I don't baby know. Everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen, I've seen everywhere. More. Yeah, I've seen more here at Klein Cellars at my house. Um, I don't see a lot, but I have a lot of vineyards all around me and they mm -hmm. sadly are not organic. And it really kind of worries me because it is harming our butterflies, which is one of the reasons why we took oh. that picture is oh. just kind of showing the relationship of the earth to the vineyard. And um, you wouldn't see that at you know a normal winery. So and you are brave to wear white with the red bottle in your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it was unopened, so you know, I was there. It was I'm, still assuming the <laughs> I'm assuming we're in the vineyards right now here. Mm -hmm. um, do you have different sections that have different uh, varietals or is it all? We do, we do keep our varietals separate in separate blocks. Um, you will see one area that looks like it's one vineyard will have multiple varietals, but they will be kind of sectioned out just keeps everyone sane as well. You know, you're not, you're not picking a row of Chardonnay and then a row of Pinot Noir, but they are kind of blocked out. What I love about this is this is totally you. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. so, uh, so you know, perfect. you have found a way to meld all everything that's in your, that you have in your world and a bottle of wine uh -huh. and, and you look stunning. No, thank you. Yes. Totally look stunning. There you are over here. Oh. Um, <laughs> Again, and I'm, I'm assuming that this is somewhere in the front of the vineyards or I'm not sure. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, yeah. it's like right, right out my, the window <laughs> right here. So, yeah, with, with another one of my favorite wines. And this is the small berry. I can't say it. Morvedra. Morvedra, um, which has notes of eucalyptus. And it is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, that if you like eucalyptus, it is. Yummy. Sounds yeah, the familiar. first the first taste of it, you pick up that eucalyptus like really fast, and it's a little like okay. But Ooh. then by the third drink, you're like, oh, this is good, and the yeah. smell is is like heaven. And we do have a lot of eucalyptus trees around here. Mm -hmm. Now, just telling Amber, one of the parks that my husband and I go walking in, we go hiking in it. We have tons of eucalyptus trees around it, and he, without even thinking anything. We walk into the park, we get a little bit into it, and he's sniffing, 
And he's like, why does it suddenly smell like your wine? He's like, did you bring wine with you? <laughs> I'm like, no, it's because of the eucalyptus. So that's why the eucalyptus is in the wine. And it's it's amazing with a host of its own benefits because of the eucalyptus. Yeah, that's awesome. That is Remember, great. Did you always want to pursue this line? Did you always want to work in wine and be around the vineyards? Actually, no, I, um, I moved up here probably two and a half years ago. Um, I'd done hospitality for a long time. So the natural jump in hospitality when you move mm -hmm. to my country yeah. is the tasting room. Um, but then really fell in love with it because I do have more of an environmental background. So I, I really love the relationship of wine specifically to the environment and how it ties into good right. eating, good everything. So from that point, I fell in love and knew that I just wanted to be involved in all parts with wine making and wine drinking. drinking. Always drinking. But that's beautifully <laughs> symbiotic with your mission and goals, uh, Robin, of yeah. You know, yeah. nature and earth and what we put into our bodies and that, that it is all interconnected. So even the wine that we drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. My husband and I are, are talking about, you know, coming here and, and spending our anniversary on like a, a little private tour. <clears throat> I can make oh, it happen. <laughs> I didn't have a vision. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> Karen, I had a vision because we are going to come up there. Oh, she and totally I, and we're going to do this in person. But I just, I did a flashback to I Love Lucy. And we're going to recreate that. Right. <laughs> talk about mashing the grapes. <laughs> my first day working harvest last year. I actually, they put me in a barrel. and Really? So, yeah. I thought it was amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that. <laughs> so, Amber, I put up uh, the website, Klein yeah. Sellers, but I do understand that you guys have a membership. We do indeed. And I, I like to think it's one of the um, most easygoing memberships in the Valley. I don't know about you, Robin, but I like it's to think that. Um, there's no there's no membership fee to join. It's, it's just buying the bottles four times a year, uh, four quarters. Mm -hmm. We have multiple levels, either just two bottles a quarter, up to 12 bottles a quarter, depending on what you need in your life. Um, and the discounts range depending on what level you're in. We give you our selections, what we think are a good idea, um, new releases, what the winemakers think tastes great each quarter. But you can let us know, like, you know, Robin wants her her cashmere black that she's drinking right now and her small berry Morvedra. That sounds great. <laughs> Do you ship to all states, all 50 states? Not all states. There are some states that just, you know, have their own rules and restrictions. Mm -hmm. um, but okay. almost all 48. Uh, we also can't ship to Alaska and Hawaii, sadly. But um, almost all 48, with the exception of a few. Um, mm -hmm. And then we offer, during the summer and winter, we offer uh, temp control options, just because you don't want your, your wine right. cooked or frozen. Yeah. Right. So we, we have options. And um, so will, will they be able to find out how to sign up for the membership if they go to the site? Yes. If you go to clientsellers.com right at the top, one of the tabs, I believe, says membership on it. You can click on that, find out more details than what I even said and um, sign up directly through the website. The phone number for the office is also there in addition to their direct email if you'd like to ask some more questions, get more answers, got a knowledgeable team in the office that would love to help you out, loves to keep that outline too. Yeah, and absolutely. And, and can I just encourage everybody, I mean, if you're in the Wine Valley area, because we're actually in Sonoma right now, yeah. but I, we're like 10 minutes away from my home in Napa, so it's all right here together. Mm -hmm. If you're here, come visit, come for a tasting. So fun. And if you have a membership already, it's a free tasting yeah. craft. Yeah. And tell them that Robin sent you. Exactly. Yes, <laughs> the pork team sent you so that uh, they know where they're where they're coming from. Yeah. Right. We and are. Amber, are you on social media? Can we find you on social media also? I'm not a very I'm not a very active human on but social media. Seller. Seller. Seller <laughs> is. Um, yes, I believe I on Instagram it's just Klein Sellers. Um, they have a Facebook as well. Active on both. Um, Lots of fun pictures. Right now, there's just a lot of great grapes and uh, pictures of the crush happening. Some cool Wonderful. stuff. Happening. Yeah. <laughs> Wonderful. And Robin, where can we find you? I am pretty much everywhere at Robin Lynn, <laughs> R-O-B-Y-N-N-L-I-N. Um, Instagram is Instagram is my jam. That's where I, I spend most of my time. 
um, or my website is beageless.life. I love be ageless. That's beautiful. Oh, I love it too. I love yeah. it too. And we have some a special announcement that we want to make yes. about Robin. Um, Robin is launching a brand new show, a new podcast that she it's actually a video podcast that she's launching, and it's mm -hmm. called Becoming Ageless. Ageless. Becoming Ageless. And we're very, very excited. It will be on the Vital C Network mm -hmm. uh, by Vital C. So we're very excited. It's coming soon. So look for it because it will definitely be there. I so before, I cannot believe how fast we have just, we've, I know. And we've done all this. Um, any last minute thoughts, Robin, Amber, you know, from the winery or from the holistic, uh, from the earth, all of that, anything you want to leave us with before we say goodbye? Um, you know, for me, I, I just want to really try to stress a point of, you know, we need to protect Mama Earth. She uh -huh. feeds us, she nurtures us, and she provides so much goodness for us. And you get things like this. So, you know, do your parts and um, get outside and enjoy her. Get your feet, go barefoot and get in that yeah. And and really do some grounding. There's many studies and benefits on grounding. You can Google that too. And um, you would be amazed at how good you start feeling. Well, we're coming. We're coming up to Nassau. We are. Absolutely. Come on up. And eat some amazing food in Napa because we all know that. Oh, yes. A foodie heaven up there. Totally foodie heaven. Any last minute thoughts, Mel? This was amazing. And, you know, the our show is uncorked and to be able to kind of unravel the, these nuances of why this wine is good and why it's important to farm the way that you do and that to produce the products that you do has been a, a real gift. Thank you so much for sharing it with us. Yes. Thank, thank, you. You, thank you. And we want to thank our viewers. We know that you have a choice as to where you spend your time and how you spend your time and you chose to spend it with us today. Thank you for that. We so appreciate yeah. it. Cheers, everyone. Yeah. Cheers. Yep. And have a wonderful weekend. <laughs> have a wonderful week. And we will see you next time on the next episode of Uncorked. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Yeah.